All right, welcome to another round of the Ringmeister series. This is week five in the TCR, specifically the Civic Type R. I'm here in okay, P6. Bobby. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Go, go, go. And here we go. I am not a front wheel drive guy, so this definitely Car left. has a bit of a learning curve. Still there. This guy is not smart. Clear left. On your right. Still there. Dude, you can't go too wide through here. Clear right. Yikes. Woo! Well, now that we survived that. Yowza. All right, now that we survived that, hopefully can settle in and cap catch the uh, group ahead. Hugo did us no favors there. Come on, don't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around. Hugo is welcome to go around the outside if he wishes. Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Just costing us tons and tons of time. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I was up on the curve the whole time. Must have made a bit of net lag. So 2.4 seconds to the car ahead. Let's see if I can reel that in. Lobby. Yeah, Hugo definitely wants it. These cars are definitely interesting because I'm used to rear drive cars and uh, for rotation and the fastest way out of the corner. These front wheel drive cars behave very differently than what I'm used to. But we're getting there. I'm not going to be the fastest anywhere near it, in fact, in the session, but just trying to improve, see what happens. The car is definitely significantly better once the tires are warmed up. And I'm a bit all over the place, which is awesome. <laughs> Car left. Clear left. I'll take places where I don't want to stick a nose in for 200. Mm -hmm. There he right. goes. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Uh. Hold your line. Still there. Fun. Hold your line. I have wheel bones. Still there. So you can overtake me if you want. Still there. Clay right. We're just gonna let him by. If he is that much faster. And we'll let them pull us up to the pack. Jeez. That was terrible. 
terrible. I will not take the covers now, just go. The gap behind is now successfully didn't lose any more time to Hugo, but didn't gain it either. Something tells me, as aggressive as he is though, I'm gonna have another opportunity to do something here. way wider than I wanted to be. The gap to Martin ahead is now 1.4 seconds. Alright, on the bright side, tires are warm now. <laughs> Ah, uh, here they go. Wonder if Dell's just gonna let him by. Yeah, he is. Using uh, all the curves. E7. Two to go, only two more laps of fuel. Way late on the throttle there. All right, clear right. Ah, uh, it's a bummer. Unfortunately, he'll give the guys ahead a gap because that was not the place to catch him. It's not the best exit out there. <laughs> the gap in front is now 1.1 seconds. As the two tenths 
be needed. have to work this car. Turn. And I carried too much speed in there. And I'm just doing all the work for Dell. Stop overdriving this car. I really need a good exit out of here. I've definitely had worse. Let's see if that's enough to work with the draft here. Do we have a tow? Why, yes. Yes, I think I do have a tow. Really need to bring this distance down before the back straight. Should have stayed in that. Yeah, he was much more planted in there. time. Dell is definitely good back here. The gap behind is now 1.0. car behind had a great, great exit in the last two turns. I wonder what the tires warm if those are full throttle. Oh, that was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Wow. Yeah, that was not great. It's the danger with this car. You gotta not carry too much speed. But you're so tempted into it because it's got a higher speed 
a decent amount of downforce, and it doesn't have a ton of power, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. The leader has just done a 7, All right. 18. Let's try to close this gap. Almost need the e-brake there. P6, white flag, one more to go. All right, Morgan, we're halfway home. We think about one laps remaining on this tank. Yikes. Well, there went any hope of catching the car ahead. And that put Dante right in striking distance. need to do some serious heavy lifting here. Just ignore him, he'll go away. Doing all right, but it's only good for a tenth at a time, it seems. Now, 0.8. I was gonna say that eh, looks like a little less than 0.8. That's closer to 0.8. Alright, good exit, good exit. Starting to reel me in a little bit now. Alright. I didn't overdo it in there. Keep pushing. Yeah, 
had to back out of it there, which didn't help. Rotate. Attention to track limits, please, Morgan. Oh, he is good through there. even better there. This is going to be interesting. Defend your position. Don't let him through. Need another tenth. Alright, that's all I can do. Yelsa. Yeah, you can flash your lights all day long. The leader's just done a 7.17.3 seconds. Damn. 7.17 is crazy. And there we go. Ah, yeah, so P6. P5. Okay, that's Ooh, the end. P5, well even done. better. I will take P5. Especially in a car that I am clearly struggling with. But this thing was fun. Uh, I think that was definitely a case of uh, over driving the car. Because I'm like two seconds slower than I was in practice. You're just not great. I think part of that is race start I added. Way too much rear brake bias. I forgot that I had already dialed it in um, in the warm-up. So I think that might have messed with me a little bit. But that's why there's more than one race. But for now, it was a great learning experience. Still decent points. So, it's a win, win. Well, my name is Morgan. This has been Cleveland Beamer Sims Sports. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll catch you next time.